Hello and welcome to another edition of Lab Matters, a webcast from Kaspersky Lab. My name is Ryan Namrain and my guest today is none other than the CEO of Kaspersky Lab, Mr. Eugene Kaspersky. Eugene, welcome to the show. Thank you. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the evolution of cybercrime over from, from the traditional worms, uh, you know, email type attacks to what we are seeing today and how uh, antivirus investments, particularly in the area of cloud security, uh, is helping to fight cybercrime and the way it has changed over the years. Uh, yes, within the last 10 years there was a very serious evolution of uh, cyber threats and cyber crime. Uh, it started with just uh, well, individuals and little gangs uh, developing their, uh, well, quite a trivial attacks right. uh, compared to their modern, uh, coming to the present time. Uh, now it's much more sophisticated, more organized and uh, the cyber criminals they are much more professional. And it seems that they are split in two categories. Uh, the first category is, I uh, call it C2C criminals to customers, attacking their uh, home users, individuals, and uh, the second category of the cybercrime, they I call it C2B, criminals to business. Right. And they attack uh, enterprises and government resources, uh, websites, uh, and it seems that they are, well, experts in the different types of cybercrime, um, because it's a little bit different attacks and uh, different social engineering. Uh, so this uh, game, cybercrime, is getting much, much more complicated and more professional. It's a bad news. Uh, and the good news is that uh, cyber police, uh, for cyber police forces in uh, many countries, they are much more professional at the same time. And uh, second good news is that they cooperate much better than in, uh, in the past. Uh, so this, uh, the fight between cybercrime is just on the next level. Right. And uh, the third good news is that uh, the uh, internet security industry, they are, well, we call it antivirus companies, uh, they have uh, new technologies, we are getting more professional and have uh, better expertise. Uh, so it simply makes this uh, game much, much more interesting. Uh, of course, there are no winners uh, because uh, it's not possible to win over 100% of criminals, uh, well, I didn't say cyber criminals. Right, 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 just regular criminals. Yes, uh, and cyber criminals at the same time. Talk a little bit about how the cloud and this new cloud model of uh, pushing updates and getting uh, uh, um, signatures out and, and protection detection out uh, to your user base, how that has kind of changed the game and helped make things much faster in terms of response times. Yes, you're right. Uh, this a cloud technology, cloud security, uh, we can guarantee their protection within a few minutes after the new malware is planted on the website. Uh, and uh, it makes uh, their cyber crime business not so profitable. And I think these new technologies, they can uh, just ruin cyber crime economy. Uh, it means that uh, they are not so professional cyber criminals. Uh, they are criminals which don't have enough of knowledge, education. Uh, they will not able to bypass this protection, so they have to stop the business or move to other areas. Mm -hmm. And only professional criminals will stay in the business. Uh, well, actually, any technologies uh, have some uh, vulnerabilities. It's possible to develop such an attack that simply bypass this protection. But it will be a different level, the upper level of uh, the entrance ticket to the crime business. And uh, I think that because of that, uh, there, uh, there will be very big uh, impact, very strong uh, kick on their uh, C2C criminals. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, I think that individuals and endpoints will be much better protected and the criminals will simply have no money from this business. And I'm afraid they will move to C2B business. Right. Bigger targets, uh, yeah, more, more bigger lucrative targets. targets. But they have to be much more experienced and uh, have to be much more professional to do that. So I think that uh, these new technologies, we can stop most of criminals which are not so professional. Right. And we just reduce number of criminals in their networks. Right, so you go after the business model and kind of cut out the weak links. Yes, exactly. Uh, let's stay in technology for a little bit. What are the areas of technology uh, Kaspersky as a company is investing in and you personally would like to see an increase in investment? If you're talking about mobile, yeah. mobile devices, maybe DLP encryption, maybe yes, some other areas. Yeah. What areas of technology you, you know, would like to see an increase in investment in? Yeah, uh, we keep our focus uh, on uh, their, our traditional products and services. Uh, that's our, our endpoint uh, end user protection. Uh, and now it's not just computers, but mobile phones as well. Uh, it's not just Windows computers, but 
Mac, mm -hmm. uh, because Mac is, uh, well, now they are in the same club with Microsoft uh, We're Windows. We're seeing a lot yeah. of explosion of uh, fake yeah, AV from sure Mac, about just that. like we've seen on Windows. Yeah. And at the same time, we are focusing on the enterprise level of protection, and that's why we have a new uh, research, new development. Uh, that's encryption, DLP, and other uh, technologies and services which are, which are necessary for the and it's uh, becoming, enterprise market. It's becoming more and more necessary now. I, yes. you, I, you know, you go to a new site today, every day there's new headlines about a major uh, attack like you on call the, C2B type attacks against businesses, uh, big high-end targeted attacks hitting very, very big businesses. Do you think that this is something new, uh, that, that attackers are now hitting businesses, or do you think that this has been going on for a long time and the only thing new is the disclosures? What is your, wh why, are yeah. we, why are we only now seeing all these sudden news articles about all these attacks? I think that's a result of the both cases. Uh, this in the past we had um, not so many reports. It was like uh, once a month or once a quarter there was a report about uh, the big and uh, very successful attack on the enterprise. Now it's almost every day uh, another big brand or government is a victim of the right. hackers attack. Uh, I think it's uh, because of two reasons. Uh, first of all, there are, there are really there are much more uh, criminals in the networks and they're interested in hacking their corporate and government resources. And I think at the same time, uh, the second reason, uh, they simply started to report more incidents because uh, in the past it was like a shock. Okay, well, this, this enterprise is hacked. Now it's like a, well, it's like it's a... Just it, another news it's story. A, it's a morning news. Yeah, just another news item. Yes, it's just one more case. And uh, these attacks sometimes, uh, they are not just uh, attacks on the infrastructure, not attacks on the data, uh, but in some cases they are like a political motivation right. or some other uh, motivation behind that. Uh, it's, uh, there is no profit from attack uh, on the government resource, uh, like a DDoS attack, which just simply crash yeah. uh, these resources. And uh, actually this is another place, this is another technology which we, uh, we are paying attention to and we have anti-DDoS project, right. anti-DDoS protection. Uh, and I'm afraid the bad news is that I think that uh, this service will be, or uh, we have a very big demand right. on this service. And anti-malware still forms the core yes, of, exactly. of all this protection, even, even as you build out and invest in other layers of technology to protect businesses. The anti-malware core still becomes very, very important because it all, it all boils down to using specialized malware on these business yeah. systems. Uh, this is the malware, uh, anti-malware is in the focus uh, because it's uh, one of the main tool uh, for hackers to attack and uh, enterprises they recognize malware as the uh, most important threat for businesses. That's why we have the anti-malware research as a, like a focus and at the same time we train and we educate our experts with anti-malware right, and then right. we can just introduce them to the new technologies, to the new areas. Right. Thank you very much, Eugene. You're welcome. And thank you for watching another edition of Lab Matters, a webcast from Kaspersky Lab. You can check out some other webcasts at youtube.com slash Kaspersky. Thank you.